I'm going to be giving away a bunch of Hogoku fragments, true Hogoku fragments, and skill boxes in my Discord. So if you want to enter any of those giveaways, join the link in the description. Hi boys, what's good? So today we've got a video talking about basically next week's update. Now, they do do weekly updates, so I'm just going to cover it as they go. It seems like they're developing a little Deep Woken-esque style of updating the game, so... I'll just assume that's what we're doing. All right, so here we have a bunch of sneaks, um, and I wanna go over them one by one, cause there is a lot. So starting from two days ago, we have our first sneak, which is of a bird, free, freaky bird. It's a it's a freaky bird, that's what it is. I don't know what it's, what it's for. It might be a new boss. I'm assuming it's probably something in hell, because it just looks really evil, I guess. I don't know what to say. It doesn't look like a hollow or anything, so that's what I'm assuming it's supposed to be. The freaky bird should be dropping in phase two, but who knows? It could drop sooner or later. I don't know. Anyways, yesterday we did get a few sneaks, actually quite a bit of sneaks, for these. this Aronkar weapon, I guess, and also, I think, a Quincy weapon, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this is what it is. A little spear thingy. Uh, procs after you hit them with the first part of the crit and it just continues on after that I don't know how good it'll be it might be a new mythic weapon I really doubt it though it doesn't look mythic at all but yeah we didn't get any sneaks of what this weapon does but it does look to be like a little cross and it might have another uh, effect where you hit it and then it procs afterwards so I don't know it, it might be another unique crit like that this one does seem to be for Aronkars though, which is kind of funny because it's a cross and I don't think Aronkars are very holy. But yeah, down here he's saying another week of this race got this thing, therefore our race has no content. I'm assuming this is meaning like uh, they're going to do weekly updates for every race. Like they're going to do one for Soriper and then one for Aronkar, one for Quincy, you know, so on and so forth and just rotate it. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see for that, but that is what would make the most sense to me. I would prefer if they just like do all races in every update, but you know, it is what it is. Also today, they did say some stuff about the Thunderbolt Volt standing. So Thunderbolt used to be very shit. It's actually still really shit. Nobody uses that, let's be honest. If you use that, please let me know in the comments because I know a grand total of 10 people use that junk, seriously. And that's simply because it just sucks. It does no damage, it has like, mid-range it has a good passive i guess but like that's about it it's good to see that it's getting a buff because i'd like to see more people running it i guess just more build diversity i always welcome that in any game really because let's be honest the game would be boring if you were just fighting the same same damn brain dead build all the time that's just not fun and also down here no rep says next update full incantation will be mouse aimable again and sunny blitz will be less lore accurate uh, cooldowns were nerfed so i don't know exactly what that means i don't even know what sunny blitz is it's probably some quincy thing that i just never heard of and yeah it does look like the thunderbolt volt standing rework is going to come in the next update i'm not gonna cover this because it's a rare and uh yeah i'm, I'm not spending out of death dealing for rare sorry it's just not happening next thing we have is nuova says that there is going to be a bigger update next week than this week which is kind of crazy because we already got two new mythical Shikai slash Bankai. So for a next update that's even bigger, bro. That's crazy, bro. We got two new, well, actually a weapon that's universal for every race. And we got a new fighting style for Hakata. So, I mean, I, I thought that was, a, that was a pretty big update in my opinion. Compared to the last ones at least. Cause like the last ones be, they be good, but like this one, Soul Reapers be getting glazed to hell. That's just my opinion. Also, Cetro's code has finally expired. So if you didn't claim that, then uh, you're out of luck, bro. That item is broken. I made sure to use that on every account. Also, apparently people were mad that Type Soul was using assets from Hollow's Battleground, but apparently they got permission to use this and here's the proof of it, so. Yeah, I didn't even know that was an issue that people were mad about, but I uh, guess it's fine. To be honest, I'm not even mad about the Battlegrounds stuff because low-key, most Battlegrounds games have some crazy cutscenes and animations. 
And they kind of have to because that's the whole game. Just using those animations and beating the shit out of people with it. I just wanted to make a little uh, quick video going over the next update. And I'll probably make another one once we're closer to the update. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of just making this so that you guys can prepare for next week. Because if you're trying to make your story per slot the best one and you don't really like it or you want to use a different race, then now's your time because they're going to be rotating which race that they give a bunch of stuff to. And to be honest, Iran cars I feel like are going to get the most next update, but that's just a gut feeling I have. I don't know. It just makes the most sense in my head because they haven't gotten anything in the past few weeks and they're still only at one mythical compared to the other two races that have at least two. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe they'll get another mythical. Who knows? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.